escaping the mouth. Okay, mountain. You have to understand, first thing that I want to do is, I need to be, a couple, be aware of a couple things. Number one, if my elbows are inside of his knees, he can get off my hips and he can slide up and go to a high mountain. Slide up. This is really bad for me right here, okay? Because now my elbows are away from my hips. He can hook an arm and begin to peel it away a lot easier. He's got a big advantage, okay? Now, I gotta get him back on my hip. And I gotta turn to my side. I gotta be on my side right here, and I gotta be crunching, okay? Preferably, I wanna make my feet big. Okay, feet wide. It, and one has to be flat, okay? Gentlemen, if I could ask you guys to just tone it down a little bit. I don't want to call you small humans because you're big humans. Okay, no, it's okay. So look, so as I'm here, it's hard for him to keep the mouth. Why? Because one foot's down. Most of the time, you're going to be like this. And then he's going to be hooking onto your leg and driving his hips in. And then you're getting flat now. you got to put one leg flat. He doesn't have much to hold on to. You're on your side, okay? Preferably your elbows in and your knee. And your elbow and knee begin to come together. Trying to reestablish triangle. Trying to get to the half foot. Yeah, yeah. Okay, because look, I have an under. Get out of the half court. I got out. I get. I get, I get out of half guard. I escaped from the mount. Went to half guard. From the half guard, went to the top. And was all using my under. So let me switch this angle right here.